V4R. So sometimes the words V4R are used to incorrectly describe the entirety of a 15 lead ECG. Now the 15 lead ECG is definitely the gold standard. If you're trying to go all the way around and look at some of the posterior side of the heart, that is to say you've found a right coronary artery occlusion and you want to see just how extensive it is. And then a lot of times the right coronary artery wraps around to the back side of the heart. But when you just want to take a quick look at the right ventricle, say when you found an inferior wall STEMI, and you want to rule out right ventricular involvement prior to administering, uh, administering nitrates, you can do a quick and easy V4R simply by moving one electrode. And that is, of course, V4. So you would take V4 and move it to the fifth intercostal space on the patient's right side, sort of level with the xiphoid process and in line with the nipple line. And if you do this, it's like placing a camera looking directly at the right ventricle. And this will help you either confirm or rule out right ventricular involvement prior to the administration of nitrates without having to move the, the last three precordial electrodes and having to roll your patient over and everything else. And sometimes we have to do that because the patient's large or they're unconscious or there just isn't time and we need to go ahead and start therapy.